Let's look at our blueprint stage of our case study for the SAP FI module. In our last presentation, we saw the project preparation phase and the roles and activities required in that project preparation phase and you need to prepare a project document and get the client to sign off. Once that's completed, then you're on to the next phase which is the business blueprint phase which we are going to discuss in this presentation. And we'll look at the activities of the business blueprint phase. Now it's very important that you get the business blueprint phase as right as possible or as close to the absolute perfect processes as much as possible because what you define in your business blueprint only you will be actually going and configuring and doing the unit testing in the next stage. So once you start doing the business blueprint and signed off from the client, when you're actually going to do the realization stage and you're somewhere around here, if you find out the client saying that, you know, we should have done like this differently and we should have done like that differently in business blueprint stage, then it's very difficult to, to go back and again start configuring and again doing testing. So it's like building a foundation for the house. You got to make sure that your architectural plans or your house plan, the blueprint plans for the house is all correct because any changes after construction making it's going to be more costly and more time consuming. Let's see the activities of the business blueprint phase. These are some of the activities which you're going to, need to document in the business blueprint document. It's not necessary only these, there might be a few more also, but I'm just giving the basic ones over here. First, you have to analyze the as is and to be processes. As is is their current processes using their legacy system or their old ERP system. So you need to document that in the blueprint document and to be. So what is going to be applied in SAP? That is called the to be processes. Org structure definition is just giving out the company's org structure and how we want to set up that org structure in the system. This org structure will be your company code, probably the company or business area, the other structures like cost centers and profit centers and so on. All is related to the org structure. You have your gap analysis, which is anything which cannot be applied in SAP as a 2B processor is called a gap. So how we are going to overcome this gap, how you're going to create some very different customized reports, or you might have to create some programs, custom programs. These all have to be captured in a functional spec. Functional spec is what the consultant defines in a document and is given to the developers who will custom code a specific report or type of interface or any type of transaction which for the gap analysis, which cannot be done by the standard SAP processes. A customized function will be done by the developer. That is called the functional spec report, which you need to prepare and give to the developer. And of course, you got to create the blueprint document where you're going to do it by each module. That's what we discussed earlier. So for FICO, FI module, we'll have a separate blueprint document. For CO module, we'll have a separate one. Of course, you can combine everything and have it as one as well, FI and CO together. But for this presentation, we're only looking at the FI module. So we'll prepare our business blueprint document specifically for the FI module and look at only its subcomponents. We'll use the FI module components which we have studied throughout our presentations and put them as the subcomponents in our business blueprint document. This will include the organizational units, the general ledger, banking ledger, accounts receivable and accounts payable. I have grouped them together because they share some common attributes and asset accounting. So under this, you might have the subcomponent even more further breakdowns and we'll prepare our business blueprint document based on this details over here for business blueprint phase and then this should be signed off by the customer. So first page usually we put a cover page over here so we can put some design and call it your SAP FI business blueprint document and you can also mention the module also here SAP FI module. You can give the project name over here project legal one and your consultancy company m, &M resources. Or instead of putting this SAP F5 module here, you can also call it SAP F5 Business Blueprint Document for the company L2L Associates Private Limited. Just give the company name also over there. And I give the project name over here. So that's basically your document coming up. 
Now, if you're working in a consultancy firm, you'll be having your own template. So you will need to adhere to the template that will have their own cover page and content.